Good morning. So today I wanted to talk to you about decrees and how important it is to you know what you're talking about. Because I've been hearing a few things about people decreeing and they're not doing it the right way. So when you decree, you cannot say, for example, I just heard this pastor say, um, word cancel words. You cannot say it that way because the enemy will use that. They will put bad words, cancel good words. So I was able to um, correct the mistake that they did because that's what they were decreeing. Words cancel words. You have to understand that the enemy is around everybody. So you have a guardian angel, but at the same time, there's a demon right there. And he will go up to heaven in the courts and ask for this decree to be either nulled or they will put bad uh, um, words, cancel good words. So you have to be very careful what you decree because they are very smart. Remember, Jesus is our lawyer. Abba is our judge. We have the other judges, which is the court of heaven. So you see how um, the models that we have here of the courts are the same ones that we have up there, right? So, so I heard this and I said no. And you cannot decree also a question. Also, I heard two pastors already talk about their wives being their guardian angels. Don't say that because that's not true, okay? They, the enemy is going to use that. They're going to go up to heaven and say, listen, they just said that their wives are their guardian angel, so cancel their angels. And then you go, they're going to be in trouble. I already heard two pastors talk about this. And I'm like, why are they doing this? If you have a guardian angel, why you, would you put your wife as a guardian angel? Angels do use people. But you cannot say that your guardian angel is this person or is that person because the enemy will go up there and file a petition against you to remove your real, true, blue guardian angel. So I'm thinking, I don't know where this came from. I was like in shock. One called his wife a cherubim with a flaming sword. And I'm like, oh, so he's putting her higher than the angels because it's a cherubim. Right, and um, the other one said, "Oh, my wife is my guardian angel, so he's putting her higher than his and her guardian angel, and that's wrong. That is so wrong. We are not higher than the angels. We are not. So you have to be careful what you do when you say because the enemy right now is is really ramped up." Because they do believe also there's an end times. So you have to be careful what you say. I think before I say anything or I do anything, I ask Abba. I ask the Holy Spirit. I ask Yeshua. Is this the right thing to do and to say? You don't just say whatever because words are very important. It says it in the Bible. Words, you are going to be judged by your words. Because your guardian angel is right there. But then you have a demon next to you too. So it's like a battle for your soul, right? It's two teams, one good and one evil. So if you say something, they're going to take it up to the courts of heaven and file a petition, whether you believe it or not, right? Because that's why I'm very careful of the words that I say. I'm very careful. And yes, sometimes you get angry and you do say certain things, but Jesus was... Well, he's had your lawyer angel up in heaven. So he's going to say, well, she was angry. She was this. She was that. She's going through this medical ish issue or whatever. So he's the one advocating for us. Gabriel is his assistant lawyer. He's a lawyer's assistant. So he's the one who helps Jesus bring in uh, whatever decrees and all these other things that you decree. Right? So... Please be careful with what you do and you say, especially at these times, because it could be used against you. If you know anything about law, you know to be careful what you do and you say to certain people. 
And that certain people is a demon. It's a demon right there next to you too. So why on earth would you do things like that? I don't understand it. You know, I, I try to be careful with my words. Because I know there's a demon right there. I know he's watching every single move you make. No matter whether you're fasting or not. Remember, Satan was right next to Jesus in the mountain. And Jesus was fasting for so long, right? 40 days, 40 nights. And he got close to him. So just because you're fasting and you're praying doesn't mean the enemy cannot still hear you. They can. They're using everything that you say against you. God bless you guys.